Every now and then you fall back into one of your bad habits, but when you do, it's actually kind of reassuring because it reminds you, oh wow, even that version of me was able to come this far. My name's Lewis Angel. I run a self-improvement channel, mainly for more sensitive guys, guys who feel like they are by default a bit more feminine, maybe even submissive guys who are into femdom, that's the more extreme extent. But if you're a guy on self-improvement and you're not like too into being macho and stuff, this is the place for you. If you're anything like me, Sometimes at nighttime when you haven't been making too much progress on your self-improvement journey, you get into the mindset that it sucks that I have to completely change who I am to get a girlfriend or to be worthy of living or to make money or to be an exceptional person. It feels like with all the self-improvement stuff, like learn how to eat this way, learn how to breathe this way, uh, do work this way, put your schedule, change this about yourself, change this about yourself, change this about yourself. Especially like there's this one time where I was cohabiting with this girl and she taught me all these things that I was doing wrong. Like she didn't want me to like vocalize like my spit, like Tuh, whenever I spit when I was done brushing my teeth. And that was a good thing. She said, don't point, it makes you look weird. And like a lot of other stuff, which she was in the right for, but like every little thing I did it was like wow do I do nothing right I know what it feels like to have the thought do I have to literally change the very fabric of my being do I have to change who I am just to be good enough am I the only one who like my default state just isn't good enough with that mindset it's actually kind of relieving every now I'm not saying you should give in to bad habits but like once in a blue moon when you give in to a habit that you had formerly abandoned it actually kind of feels good because it's like, oh, hey, I'm still the same person. I thought, you know, people always say like, wow, you're a completely different person. Like, you can't take that too literally. You can't take that too literally. You're not a completely different person. You're still the same person. It's just that your qualities have changed. Qualities and who you are are not the same thing, although they may seem like they overlap. You feel like who you are now as a result of being on self-improvement is a completely different person than who you were before. And as a result, it feels like the person you still have to be is gonna be even more different and you get in this mindset of completely different person. But in reality, so just to give you something more concrete to bite into. So I used to be a person where I actually never really played lots of video games because to sit down and actually play a video game was too much of a conscious time sink for me. So what I would do is I would log on and just look up five minutes of gameplay or look at the cutscenes and like bit by bit. And I would waste my day doing like these five minute videos. So it ended up being the same as playing a video game, but it wasn't actually playing a video. So anyway, whenever I got interested in a video game, I would look at tons of trailers, look at tons of gameplay, look at tons of footage, but never actually play the game. A few weeks ago, when I went on vacation to Costa Rica, somehow or another, I came across Mortal Kombat 1 gameplay. I didn't even know Mortal Kombat 1 was out. I'm not hooked into the video game scene anymore, but somehow this gameplay came up and I saw that Omni-Man and Homelander were in the new game. I had watched The Boys and Invincible before I got into self-improvement, like literally right before, but man, I was stoked to see Omni-Man in the new Mortal Kombat game. And there was footage, and then a little bit after Quan Chi footage was released, the DLC character, and oh my god. While I was in Costa Rica, I ended up looking at a bunch of Mortal Kombat gameplay. And you know, it actually felt kind of good because it was like, huh, I'm actually still the same Lewis that's always been there. And like, even though, and like, even though my diet is clean now, like pizza's still my favorite food. I still love this, I still love that. Like. It's, it's really nice and wholesome and makes me feel good inside to know that I'm actually still the same Lewis. Even though a lot of my qualities have changed and I've matured a lot, I'm still the same person. And that means I'm going to continue to be the same person even after all this improving. And I never would have imagined the former Lewis eating healthy... Uh, getting up early in the morning, having a regular sleep schedule, having gone on a date with a woman, having had an intimate experience with a woman, being this social with people, making this much progress in YouTube, even though it's not that much progress. Like, it's amazing for the old Lewis. Like, I can't imagine old Lewis doing this much, and I can't believe that even that Lewis could come this far. Even that Lewis was able to make it here. So on one hand, like, yeah, I wasn't enough, like, or my qualities weren't enough. I did have to improve my qualities. But on the other hand, like, 
deep down inside, I'm still the same person. I was enough to make it this far. Even though your qualities will change, like discipline, your hard work, your impulse control, who you are at heart is going to remain the same. Who you are is enough. See you later, man. Hope you have a good night.